we will discuss now multiple writer multiple reader algorithm for atomic registers just before delving into that I will discuss a little bit again the read impose that we described in the last algorithm and motivate it once more if you remember from a single writer multiple reader we had this property and the property says if a read that produces the value R1 precedes a read that produces the value R2, then the right of R1 has to precede the right of R2. And in fact, this is exactly what the read impose tries to guarantee. So, a read R, when it makes a write, it guarantees that any read after R must at least see R. Okay, at least see R. And therefore, here we are using causality to inform atomicity. So, let us look now again to atomic register. Remember the one writer, the main idea is the read impose. When reading, also make a write before responding. One possible optimization is that if you read and all the values you got, which is the majority of all nodes in the system, have the same sequence number, then you know that the write that resulted in this read has been completed so you don't need to do the read impose operation so let us now go to multiple writers so we have atomic register we have multiple writers so multiple writers is very similar to single writers so it's a read impose majority voting again as usual the only issue that we have to take care of is that multiple writers might have non-synchronized sequence numbers which means that a later write in global time could be ignored and let us see this in this example so p3 performs a write with a sequence number 30 p2 performs a write later in time so so right six is after right five with a sequence number 28 so this later right is ignored and that of course violates the specification of atomic register or linearizability you can see that um, we can see that that when this right is performed the broadcast will be ignored because it has a lower sequence number. That's why this write 6 is ignored. So, the modification to our algorithm to guarantee multiple writers, multiple readers, is basically to try to get an updated sequence number. So, that is, so you have one extra phase in the write, and this phase says that before writing read from a majority to get the latest sequence number and then increment the sequence number to do your next write of course one possible problem that can, might occur is that two concurrent writes can have the same sequence number but you can break the tie by using the process or node id that says you so that is not an issue. So the other issue that we have to think of now that we have multiple writer, not a single writer, is that when an acknowledge is sent, when the broadcast of an old writes is received by a node, the nodes 
have to send back an acknowledgement to the node requesting the right because otherwise the node that performed all rights can wait forever so here is an example so if you ignore all the acknowledgements then a node might just wait forever and violate a liveness condition so how we here is an example if you don't do that so a slow node p1 performs a write and waits for acknowledgement a fast node p2 with higher sequence sequence number performs a write receives ack from majority now the, the all of the other nodes receives the write requests of the slow process and if they don't acknowledge it p1 will not get enough acts and and so and it will wait forever therefore always a node when it gets a write request even with an all the sequence number it has to acknowledge that there is a slight variant of this algorithm that i would like you to discuss and see if it is correct or not which is of course it is the same thing you have to have the phase of getting the sequence number but the other way is that the nodes receiving write request with all sequence number just ignore it and the node that requests a write it times out and then try to write again so the example here is as follows you have a slow process p1 p1 writes five waits for an acknowledgement you have a fast process p2 writes six receives acknowledgement from a majority that's the normal case p1 does not get enough acknowledgement as the node ignored it then p1 tries again the issue that we would like to discuss here is this algorithm satisfies atomicity or uh, linearizability one thing you can observe about this algorithm anyway is that it's a log free algorithm in the sense that p1 might be trying to the operation but there is always a faster process that is always taking over so this is not a weight free um, algorithm it is one can say a log free so at least one correct node makes progress and in this case the faster one again the question is does this algorithm implement an atomic register or not i leave that for you to discuss now in summary let us look to atomic registers again so we devise algorithm in the asynchronous fail silent model for atomic register a write to complete will take two round trips of messages one round trip for acquiring the latest sequence number and one for the broadcast act of the write a read will also in the worst case is two round trips one for the read and the one for impose if there is no multiple writers at the same time we it's we will it, the algorithm will only perform one round trip to complete as we discussed in the optimization that we discussed before thank you